Hello everybody and welcome to let's take a look at Brawl Busters. This is a new game, just came out on Steam. Kind of an action combat multiplayer game and it's also free to play. So it's been generating a little bit of buzz just by virtue of the fact that A, it's been on like the Steam front page and B, free to play, which probably guaranteed it like a million downloads over this weekend alone. But anyway, before we talk too much about, you know, what you actually get with this product, let's just go into some multiplayer gear. And I will try to find a game that is almost about to start. Ruda sucks. This looks like it could be okay. Uh, we've got full teams. You can see this is me over here. Broski98 went monster that round, so, you know, you gotta worry about him. And we will just wait for the host to get started here, and then hopefully we will be able to get going. You can see there's a variety of different classes here. I'm playing as the rocker class, which is kind of like the most balanced class, if you will. Whereas, uh, you know, we also have the boxer class, which is like the damage dealing class. We have the agility focus class that is quite clearly not based on the scout despite the fact that it carries a baseball bat and actually has an attack where it hits a baseball at you in fact the style of this is very very reminiscent of TF2 in general which you know is something that you might expect considering that it is a free to play game on Steam and also we have like red and blue teams here and when the game advertises itself as having like a one of a kind style I just have to kind of laugh Unique classes that have never before been seen. Okay, that is true. But anyway, we're going to get started here. You can see it actually is like a third-person action game. Not like TF2. And basically the way we're controlling this, WASD and just our mouse, right mouse and left mouse buttons to uh, click and do any variety of attacks. So basically I have like a, a hard attack, which is this, if I could actually get some attacks off here. Uh, kind of hard to see what's going on, right? Uh, I have a quick attack, which is on my right mouse button, which you can kind of see right there. And I have a... a Fierce attack, which is like both buttons combined. Oh my god, I'm, I actually almost got a kill. That might have actually been my kill, I don't know. Um, don't touch, alright. So let's touch that. And then we'll try to hit some people around here. So yeah, I mentioned TF2 a couple times, but this is not really reminiscent of TF2 that much. I'm so fucked. Yeah, absolutely killed there. It's Broski, he did go monster this round. Uh, we'll choose the same class. Uh, it's more reminiscent of like old like original Xbox games, like in particular I'm thinking of a game called Whacked that came like a trial of that came when you initially got Xbox Live Gold. And that is not really a good comparison to be making because that game was pretty much terrible. One second, I'm gonna see. But it's the same kind of like frantic, I can't really tell what the heck is going on type action. Why am I a warning already? I thought I was doing actually pretty well there. We'll just go get in on this guy's kill. Maybe we can get a kill on Mr. Nipple here. Rocker, Boxer versus Rocker. You'd think of the Rocker with the... Their Rocker, of course, would fall apart here. Oh, they actually managed to get something going on here. Oh, God, they killed my buddy. Let's get out of here. I'm probably gonna die. These guys seem to know what they're, like they know what they're doing. Pro Ball Busters. And again, I apologize for the fact that it's very difficult to tell what's going on. This is not because of, like, any kind of fraps issue with recording the game. This is just how the game runs. It is fast and oh god Danger! I should not have run into that clearly it is fast and it is oftentimes incomprehensible which is a big problem so let's come over here I'm almost certainly gonna be killed in like a second there are people following me now you can see I picked up a bomb there there are items just like Mario Karts and just like whacked actually oh god they're chasing me don't look behind you never look back you're beginning to remind me more of your father maybe I can run backwards and see what I'm getting myself into you can get in these telephone booths like um Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, but they just transport us across the map, so I'm still in kind of a, a rough spot here, especially since I just got crushed by that billiards ball, this will be the end of my life, yep. So it's first team to nine, and they are already at seven, so they are probably going to win this one. I have never won a single game of this, and obviously part of that is just the fact that I suck, but also these matches are usually like two minutes long, which is really crazy. This game is casual as heck. I just feel like I'm going in and then mashing the left mouse button and then whenever I get low on health just using shift to sprint away as fast as I can oh god I'm, I'm trapped here we are absolutely gonna lose this one as well I can't tell what the heck's going on with my teammates doesn't seem to be a whole lot of team play involved though I just don't want to be the one to feed the last kill to the enemy team because that you know that means you're the worst let's get out of here music is really annoying the crap out of me and we lose there okay fantastic how many attacks did I get off like six we'll see when the game actually ends here yeah, there was a, a bitter loss for the red team, as usual. Eight attacks, so second lowest in the game. Clearly pretty good at this. I'm almost up to level two. Uh, let's exit this, actually, for a second. Before we go into one more game, we'll take a look at some of the stuff that you get in this game. So there's a store. 
As always, you kind of support yourself with microtransactions when you release a free-to-play game like this. So we can spend the points that we earn, which are called BP, Buster Points, and then Rock Tokens, which we obtain through cash payments. Unfortunately, all of these cost Rock Tokens. Imagine that, that you actually have to uh, pay real money to get an advantage. Let's see, let's see what some of these things do. Movement Speed, plus 10%. For 30 days, 4,800 rock points. Defense level, plus 10%. 30 days, 4,800 rock points. So this is actually clearly one of those games, I didn't notice this before. Uh, clearly one of these games where you can just apparently buy your way to victory by paying real money, which is really cheesy and I don't like that at all. For example, weapon damage, weapon damage increases, plus 6 or 18%. We could buy that for 9800 RT. We could actually buy these upgrades with Buster Points as well. But it seems like it's probably faster to buy them just by, you know, picking up actual cash. How can I pick up... I want to see what the exchange rate is here. If I could try to buy some, some actual Buster Points. Okay, let's buy some Rock Tokens, see how much those are going to be. I'm not actually going to buy them because I have no intentions of playing this game beyond probably this video. Okay, so 10... Th it's about a thousand points per dollar, it looks like. Although, obviously, it comes down a little bit. So, you know, if you want to buy, like, 100,000 rock tokens, that'll only cost you 90 bucks, and then you can get... How many of these upgrades could you get? Okay, so if you wanted 20 charges on your, uh, increasing, like, your weapon power, or increasing your defense, or increasing your additional stats for hands and shoes, I honestly have no idea what that does, that'll cost you about 10 bucks. I think that is pretty crazy for a free game. But then again, TF2 sells hats, so what do I know? Let's check out the locker quickly so we can see stuff that I got. I, I unlocked some aviators just because I'm playing the game, so they're giving you kind of a bonus just for that. I'm not sure if I can actually change my class. I don't think I can. Let's check out my stats. Yeah, 0% win rate. Pretty good. I have like two kills total. Two kills, one assist. It doesn't show me my deaths, which is nice of them. And I guess, you know, that's pretty much all there is to show. Let's just play another game here. We'll join the game called Join Me. Ready up and see if we can actually get one successful run here. Now I'm assuming you can see some guys with like pretty decked out uh, stats. Well, maybe not stats, but definitely decked out armor and stuff like that. It might not actually give them stats. It might just be aesthetic. But uh, I'm assuming these guys have paid. So there's uh, various classes. There's five classes in the game. We've got like a batter class here, a rocker class, which is obviously what I am a part of. The boxers are damage dealers primarily. The fireman is like a support class, and the football player. I'm not actually sure what the football player is. Probably more like an all-around class, similar to what I run. But it looks like these guys are not here, in which case I will just join another game and we'll try it off. Yeah, it doesn't look like this guy's here, so we'll exit. Oh, we got to unready first. And then we'll join um, Brawl Busters Action. So these guys know what they want. Host has a very bad ping, fantastic. Always a good sign. He's level 3 though, so clearly he's played some games before, he knows what he's doing. And I'm actually the lowest level in this game. They're saying adjust balance, okay the host is here, so I'm gonna ready up. It's cool that it has team balance uh, automatically applied. Well, not automatically applied, you do have to hit something to make it work, but then we'll try this out one more time. There are a variety of maps, it really seems like this game is kind of... I have a few problems with it, basically. One, uh, I can never tell what the heck's going on, and it's very important in a game like this that is fast-paced, that everything is comprehensible, and you can really make out why the heck you're losing when you are losing, which I can't do right now. Now, that's probably something that would come with time, but the other thing is that um, the games are too short. Like, I understand like making it a casual style, but games that are over in two minutes are not fun when it takes you like five minutes just to get into a game. And the gameplay itself, I don't find that engaging. I'm gonna die, like, nearly instantly here. So I gave up first blood. Dota 2 terminology, as usual, and we'll spawn here. And then we'll try it out. But again, like, first person and nine in a team deathmatch game doesn't seem that good. Maybe uh, if there was some objective-based gameplays, this could be a little bit better. But again, remember, the game is free to play, so... I, I, I hate to say that, though, like, like, use that as an excuse for the game not being very good, which it isn't. Uh, but, you know, it's free to play. You stop complaining. You don't have to pay anything for it. Well, I'm, I'm paying my time, and it still sucks. <laughs> like, this game, I am not a fan of at all. I, I got a few requests to do a video of it, I assume because it was free to play and this open to everybody. Uh, but this is not a good game. I, I very rarely say that, but this is a largely incomprehensible mess. We'll pop open these. Maybe get some items. I mean, it's, it's decent fun in a way. And again, it doesn't cost you anything. I wonder if I could actually get a kill on this guy. It would be so nice. If I could actually get one kill in this video. If 
but I don't think it's gonna happen because we're getting triple teams here. Danger! Just put a cardboard box on those guys, try to get run over by that train. We got Sweet D dancing over here. Yeah, I'm about to be killed. Let's go to the vending machine, get a bomb quick. Maybe I can at least get some collateral damage. Yeah, did a little bit of damage there. One combo, that's about the best I could probably hope for in my skill level. I'm holding this guy off fairly well. Alright. But other than that, I'm just basically feeding non-stop here. It seems like there's actually kind of a fairly dedicated community for this game, which baffles me considering, like, you could... I hate to bring this up again, you could be playing Team Fortress 2 right now. That's a good free-to-play game. Like, a great free-to-play game. What does this guy have shields around him? I wonder if that's an item or if that's something that he's actually paid for. I gotta stop running into that barrier, clearly. I really hate when free-to-play games do stuff that messes with the balance like that. Like, pay $10 and you can get all these bonus upgrades so you can be better than your friends. I think Star Trek Online is doing that in a way right now. I don't want to be in that phone booth. I want to get this kill. Uh, I, I think it totally... No, he's already dead. Ruins the balance of the game. Which is something that TF2 does very well. And they, they just sell cosmetic items. And if the people like your game enough and then, like it gives them some kind of benefit from being part of a club or something, they will pay for the, uh, the cosmetic benefits, which is nice. That teleported me. That's not really what I, what I wanted to do at all. I want to do this poison attack. There we go. Maybe do some damage over time to these guys. Maybe I can actually assist on some kills. Unlikely, but you, know, you never know. Why am I always on like the worst team? Six combo? What is this music? But anyway, after I finish this, yeah, this is match point for the blue team. This will be the end of my Let's Look at Brawl Busters video. I would, uh, please don't beat the last kill me. I would really recommend uh, not playing this game. You want to play a free-to-play game on Steam? There's several you can choose from that are going to be better than this. Obviously, TF2 is the main one that springs to mind. Oh, I can get a kill here. First yes! Kill. <laughs> first kill. That's first kill this game, not first kill in general, like in history. Don't have any items with which to finish this guy off faster, unfortunately. Maybe I can get one more before the time runs out, though. Maybe. Why does this guy seem so fast? He looks like Tony Gwynn. He should be slow as heck. All right, so we lose again. What else is new? And as we exit out of here, we'll do a little uh, outro to the video. Oh, cool, so I enabled two more classes. You have to level up to give yourself uh, more classes, I guess. They like to start you off with the rocker guy, I suppose, because that is kind of the uh, initial starting class. Kind of like the, the assault class in Monday Night Combat. Or the soldier, I suppose. Again, in Team Fortress 2. So there is a single player, and there are like ranked matches, but I can't imagine there being any kind of competitive uh, scene for this. It also only says that there's 20 or 35 players on right now, although this number is steadily growing up. They're going up. I don't know what's going on with that. There are definitely more than 35 people online right now. You can just see by looking at the, the lobbies here. So, this has been Brawl Busters. It is free to play, but I, you know, despite that fact, I would absolutely not recommend it. Unless you, uh, you know, are, you have too much money and you don't know what to do with it and or you feel like getting stumped by people who do have too much money and you know are buying their way to upgrades not saying that like all these games that I lost are because the people had upgrades uh, that they paid for I mean they might just be better than me in fact I assume they are better than me I have like a half hour in this game total but uh, it I can't tell what the heck's going on in this game I feel like it's very poorly made and free to play is exactly the right price for it let's put it that way but as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time hopefully when I'll be playing a game that is more worth uh, some compliments than criticism. See you next time.